Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, Vladimir. How are you? Hello. Good, teacher. I'm okay. That's great. That's great. How's everything? Well, actually, I have two meetings. One from the master in my phone and in the computer, the English classes. Oopsie. So, you're well, back. that's the way it is. Nah, what can we do about it? So tell me, how was your day? Oh, good to you relax. Because okay. I told you the last time my boss is on vacation. Okay, now. that's cool. But tomorrow she returns and so uh, well. Well, anyway. Now, yeah, yeah. Hel help me out. What about the microphone? Listen to this good. microphone. Yes. What about this one? This the first one. The other one. The first one. Okay. Yes, for me, the first one. I don't know, Walter. No, let's see, let's see, we will try it on. Mr. Ruiz is also connected. Well, we are almost done. It's, what? Just three more classes, today's and two more. When finish the, the cars, the course? This coming Friday. Oh, come on, teacher. Yeah. 26. Yeah. March 26. That's why Wait. today you are going to do your presentation. Oh, yes. I'm sorry for my PPT, but the vocabulary is for an economic. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. A co-worker co helped me to, to do the PPT. She's oh, an yeah. economic bachelor. Oh, really? A financial master and a student of PhD, economic PhD. Hey, that's great. Yes. She knows. She knows a lot. And she's a good person. That's excellent. That's excellent. It's always good to to be surrounded by good people. Yes. Bueno rodearse yes. De buenas personas. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Let me just text everybody that it is time. Okay. There are eight o'clock. Yeah, it is. There, there is, there is eight o'clock. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I got some mistakes. Sorry. Well, that happens. Don't worry. That happens to everybody. So tomorrow the boss comes, but everything is ready for her coming back. You hope so. Todo listo right, para... you. Yes, is, is everything ready for the comeback of your boss? Ah, yes. Well, what should I do? Yeah, well, no, I mean, there's nothing delayed. No hay trabajo a retrasado. No. Only today. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. That's actually good. Let me see. Okay, this is perfect. So, Let's see, for today, today we are going to work a lot with requests. We are going to start working with models, more models besides wool. Today we are going to work with cool and can. Let me just check something in my, in my uh, 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 lesson plan. Requests, requests. Could you borrow me your pen? Mm -hmm. Hmm. And there are different that we told yesterday. Uh, yeah. Can I help you? Yeah. Just that can I is more informal. Could I help you? It's more formal. You see? Yes. And today we are going to work with that. Este día trabajaremos con ello. Let me see. Well, thank you, Vladimir. We will talk to Walter right now. Walter, good evening. Okay. Walter Ruiz, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, mister. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Tell me. Mm, relax.
relax. It's not a, a, it's not busy today. It was not busy. That's cool. No, because the demonstrations. Yes, right. The, the demonstrations in Guatemala. Yeah. They still continue. Yeah, maybe one, maybe eight. In different demonstrations. In different places. Oh, really? You can ask yeah. this the same question. La pregunta que dice también puede decir de esta manera. Are they still at it? Are they still at it? That means, esta pregunta, uh, como usted me dijo, oh, las demonstrations, yo le pregunto, oh, are they still at the demonstrations? Are they still at it? ¿Están aún en eso? Yeah, but... For moments, the people open the street. Oh, really? So, but the yeah. bunkers are open. The demonstration is all new. It's not all day. Maybe it's a uh, the morning. Maybe all the morning. Okay, so maybe in the afternoon the flow of of vehicles starts normal. Depends. The, the, the words is um los puertos. Oh really? The ports? The words. Yeah. Yeah, the words is on puertos. But on the about the street, um, the people it's not more crazy. It's okay. At ports. At ports. At ports. Well maybe. Yeah, you know. Teacher. Just tell me. You watching the Lucifer. Serious? Uh, oh, I did. La vi. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it is. It's interesting. I actually I actually watch it in English because I love his accent. Yo la veo en inglés porque me gusta el acento of the, of the main actor. Yeah, I I usually always the movie on English because the jobs is very different in Spanish or in English. Yeah, yeah. And in his case, the main actor, I like his his accent. El actor principal me gusta su acento. He's English, actually. But his accent is very nice. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Well, thank you, Walter. We will okay, with you. somebody else. Let's see. Evelyn, where are you? I just saw you somewhere here. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm just great. Tell me, how was your day? Oh, my day. Mm. Not busy, but um, uh, tranquilo. Calm, quiet. Um, cool. mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. And tell me, what about traffic? Did you have problems with traffic? No problems at all? No, uh, uh, this day um, I go with mom uh, for, for um, some uh stop uh son son um algunas cosas que ella tenía que hacer some stuff she had to do stuff yes um uh, i go uh como puedo decir uh, salí un poco más temprano para acompañarla okay i went out a little bit earlier I went out or I check I, out a little bit earlier. I went out a uh, little bit earlier. Un poco a little antes. bit uh, earlier. Uh -huh. To, to go with the, her. To go with her. Yes. And um, um, less traffic. That's good, that's good. So you were home earlier. Estuvo en casa antes. 
and in Hong, my mom. <laughs> oh, at your mom's house? Yes. That's nice. That's cool. And a third, um, at my home. At my home. In my house. In my house. Yep. In my home. <laughs> in my house. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Don't worry. Don't worry. Well, let's see. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Interesting talking to you. Okay. Luis. Hello, Luis. How are you? Fine, teacher. How are you? I'm just great. How's everything? Tell me, how was your day? Well, uh, I, had, I had a busy but uh, very good day. A busy good but day. good day. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Did you go out of San Salvador today? Sorry? Did you go out from San Salvador today? Salud. Yeah. Yeah. Where, yeah. In where did you go? I, I, in the morning, I went, uh, I went to the uh, municipality yeah. uh, of Comalapa in Chalatenango. Oh, really? And yeah, uh, I had a, a meeting with the with the alcalde mayor, 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 mayor with the mayor, and they they want to how do you say? Is get capacitar. Train, the train, train, train a student. Oh, really? About about to the operator of water systems. Hey, that's cool. Water system and um, afternoon. Yes. Well, I come I come back to San Salvador to two two p.m. Okay. And and I had a new meeting <laughs> oh man <laughs> uh, so meeting with uh video video call it's called a video call yeah video conference uh video call video conference video conference and uh, but uh, around the two hours in this video conference but uh I I think it I think it have a good day. Okay, that's cool. Excellent. Thank you very much, Luis. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Let's see, let's see. Alfonso. Hello, Alfonso. You home already? Hi teacher. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, too. teacher. Oh man. Hey. You're Stretching, that's stretching when you go like that. Stretching. Stretching? Ah, yes. <laughs> stretching. So, how was your day, mister? It's very good in my day, teacher. And, um, para decir casi. Almost. Regresamos. Oh, we almost, almost we almost finished. We almost finished the the project. Oh really? Yes. That's excellent. Nothing more. Uh, is is uh, is elevate is uh, project is elevator. Is a new elevator. A new type. A new type. Yep. Right. Type. 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 Oh. A new type of elevator. Okay. Es tipo montacarga, es pequeño. Oh, really? Mm. It's, it's, so it it's not that big. It's not that difficult. No es tan problematic. Mm. Or is it? Is uh, the problem? The problem is uh, the connections of co uh, of connectors, the connectors. 
¿Cómo decir? What for, type? For, for diagram, diagrama. Diagram. Diagram, correct. Is. Uh, What? Connecting to the PLC, you mean, or the contactors? Conectándose yes. al PLC o al contactor. Ambos. Both. 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 Oh, well. Both. Um, this is uh, three levels. Solo es tres niveles. Ese era de yeah. tres niveles. Well, actually, the connection to the contractor is not that difficult. The connection to the to the PLC perhaps is more difficult because besides the connection, you need to get the, the code, the instructions. No, teacher. It's automated already? Ya viene automatic? No, no, no. Uh, the problem, el problema fue... Uh, no, no, para decir no tomamos the photograph. The picture? The pictures, yes. Uh, tuvimos un error. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, y este. Um, you had a, you miss, you had a mistake in the connection. Se equivocaron en las conexiones. Mm -mm. Then? Similar. And then sampling. Eh, no. Eh, habíamos. Ah, español dice. Tell me. Tomamos, tomamos la, la imagen, pero eh, quisimos hacer algo diferente. Habían unos empalmes y nosotros los cortamos. El detalle. Oh, And you, and you didn't mark where you cut, and you didn't take a picture before cutting. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. The problem, the problem, the problem was. Identify the, the lines. That was the problem. Identifying the lines. Yes. Porque antes. Del cableado. Correcto. Eh, el, nosotros teníamos el diagrama que nosotros hicimos. Lo teníamos con los colores agregados. Cuando los quitamos para dejarlo directamente y sin empalme, eh, venían otros colores. Entonces, uh, I have a problem. <laughs> yeah, because perhaps you were, uh, you were working with two different standards. Estaba trabajando con dos estándares. So, two different code, code, uh, ¿Cómo se le llama? Cold calls. Color calls. Trabajaba con dos color. códigos. Yeah. Color calls. Trabajó con dos códigos de colores. More yeah. code, code color. Color codex. No, no. When I mean with different color calls, it's like uh, when you are working with, uh, with models, like with uh, two phasic or three phasic. Uh, like uh, the international wiring system is one, but the one that they use in the uh, international wiring system is uno, pero el que se usa in, in the United States, in Brazil, and in Mexico is different than the rest of the world. So when you have a machine that comes from those countries, you have to be very careful with the wiring. Mm. Cuando tenemos una máquina que viene de esos países, we have to be very careful with the wiring. Es correcto. Por okay. suerte teníamos ahí un amigo que él nos colaboró en una parte, pero mañana, no sé si mañana o pasado, vamos con la parte final, que es donde van los botoncitos según los niveles. De yeah, the, 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 the pushers. Yes. Luckily, por suerte, afortunadamente, luckily, luckily. Ah, well, you will have a you will have a very interesting day tomorrow. Tendrán día interesante. Yes. Ah. Oh, y, um, eh, para decir protocolos de seguridad por protocolos de seguridad. Security protocols. Security protocols. Uh, uh, me tocó con casco, guantes, lentes, arnés. Okay. Helmet. 
Helmet. Helmet. Gloves. Gloves. What was the other word? ¿Cuál era la otra palabra? Eh, quiero ver eh, el arnés. 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 Okay. Uh, you mean uh, 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 hold on. <laughs> no, no, arnés. It's the mm. It's got another word. Tiene otro nombre. Mm. Ah. Just give me a second. I'll try to remember. Trataré de recordarlo because I know okay. it. I know it. I know it. Los conozco. Okay, so we got uh, that. No, body armor. No, it's uh, oh, man. I remember it's it. Correct. It's correct. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, yes, yes. so tomorrow is going to be interesting for you. Mañana será interesante para usted. Esperemos si sea. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Let's see who else is here. Thank you very much, mister. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's see who else is around. Edwin, ready for tonight? Yes, teacher. Okay, tonight is your Hello, night. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am bored. Bored? Come on, man. Yeah. You're in class. You're in the English class. Don't worry. We are going to do many activities so you don't get bored no more. Vamos okay. a hacer muchas para que no esté aburrido. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome, Edwin. Thank you. Thanks, teacher. Susana, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You went to the office today, right? Yes. Uh, I yes. Can tell. I, I can tell. Yes, I know. For what? <laughs> I can tell. Uh, puedo notarlo. Yeah. In this case, I, in this case yes. we say I can tell. Okay, so I how was your day? Very good. Oh, Very that's good. Excellent. That's excellent. Very good. Yes. I have a. I have a. ¿Cómo se dice? Es, es posible que me promuevan. Oh, really? Sí, ¿cómo se dice? Okay. Estoy contenta. It is, it is possible. It is possible. It's happy. It is yes, possible. Yes, very happy. I, I get a promotion. It's possible okay. I get a promotion. Or, it's possible I get a promotion. Or you can say, it's possible I get promoted. I get promoted. I get promoted. Both okay. things means the same. Ambas significan lo mismo. Exactly the same. Exactamente lo mismo. Okay. Okay. I'll okay. tell you in other module. In the next module. In the next, ah, in the next motion, I, ya voy okay. a saber. Okay. I will know. <laughs> well, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Let's hope everything goes okay. Esperemos que todo vaya bien. Ay, me too. Okay, thank you, Susana. Thanks to you. Let's see, let's see. Sonia, hello. Hello, teacher. I thought you were frozen. Pensé que estaba congelada. You didn't move. No se movía. How was your days, Sonia? <laughs> I had a good day. Um... I meet. Uh, I met. I met. I, I met uh, with the operation team to follow up. Um, how do you say? Para dar seguimiento a a temas puntuales que nos había observado un cliente. <laughs> okay. To give a follow. A a follow up to specific. Mm -hmm. Issues a uh, sign out by a client. So that to specific issues. Sign out, sign out, sign out by client. 
Yes. Or instead of sign out, you can say this. En lugar de sign out, podemos decir esto que es más correcto para este caso. Pointer up. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Pointer up. Pointer up. Pointer up. Yes. Pointer up. Okay. Eso sería señalados o apuntados. Ok. Ok. Okay. okay. Uh, clients. Uh, and. Eh, please repeat. Pointer up. Pointer up. Thank you. Yes, Sonia. Um, listening to grabaciones and recordings, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Okay, listening to recordings of service. Services. Um, services. I'm. Oh, Lida. I'm check. I'm emails and routines team. Regular stuff. Okay, cool. Yes. Well, thank you, Sonia. Welcome. Okay. Ivania, hello. Thank you. Thanks to you. Ivania, I think Ivania is still on her way home, but let's see. We're going to get the attendance, guys. I need to get the attendance for today. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. No here, Berta Maritza absent, Claudio Guadalupe Alfaro absent, Daisy Elizabeth, no here yet, Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Lisette García Rodríguez. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez, Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monje, Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez, Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present, teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. And Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see, guys. Well, today we are going to talk about requests and let's jump it right into it. Vamos a, we, you are going to be talking a lot today. Uh, tell me about it. Okay, just give me a second. Oh, before anything else happens, antes que algo más suceda, just let me check on something. Because we had a meeting today. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Perdón. Antes que se me olvide, perdón, eh, eh, explicaré en español. Esto no me va a tomar más de dos minutos. Algunos de ustedes puede ser que ya les haya caído la... Encuesta de satisfacción, el correo. ¿Ok? Si ya les cayó, recuérdense, eso no lo tocamos, lo hacemos juntos el día viernes. ¿Ok? Solamente verificamos que ya lo tenemos. Eso okay. lo, hacemos, lo hacemos juntos el día viernes. Este, Igual, yo lo voy a guiar en todo el proceso, les voy a acompañar. Ya a esta altura ustedes están cool with that. Pero igual, les voy a acompañar en el proceso, nos va a acompañar a alguien de soporte para cualquier duda, cualquier interrogante, este igual que la vez anterior con lo que estuvieron conmigo, voy a hacer una, una pequeña demostración del paso a paso de todo, cómo lo vamos a ir llenando para que no tengamos ningún conflicto, no nos hagan repetirlo, recuérdense que si nos equivocamos en algo, nos toca hacerlo de nuevo. Entonces eso lo hacemos juntos. Eh, otro de los anuncios, déjenme ver, tomorrow, final exam, mañana en teoría, chicos, y chicas, necesito que hayamos, que comencemos ya a ver si vamos terminando la plataforma, el final exam, porque Friday este, termina la clase y yo digo a pasar notas. Les digo que comencemos mañana a ver si ya lo vamos terminando por el hecho de que 
no lo dejemos a última hora y quizás el día viernes tengamos algún contratiempo. No podamos, entonces no lo dejemos a última hora, porque si no, si no lo tenemos para el viernes, créanme, el sábado it's going to be terrible for all of us. Si no, el sábado va a ser terrible para todos nosotros. Y con lo de la encuesta, recuérdense, together, ¿ok? Lo haremos juntos. Igual si les cae, creo que también les van a colocar este, el enlace en, en el grupo de WhatsApp. No se preocupen, todo eso lo trabajamos juntos. Día viernes, importante el día viernes en la clase. Recuérdense, normalmente lo hacemos después de las 9 de la noche. Creo que es ahora, aún los que tenemos problemas por la llegada al trabajo, la llegada a casa, tenemos el tiempo para hacerlo, ¿ok? Ok, let's continue. Sorry, that was there. Commercial, the advertising. Ese fue el comercial. Let's get right into the, 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 the topic for today. We are going to see many different things. And let's start with the first. Vamos a ver varias cosas y comencemos. Sorry, guys. Man, right here. Okay. This presentation, I send it already to you. Esta presentación yo se las envía a ustedes. Right? Okay, class 18. Let's see. We are going to go on stages. Vamos por etapas. Making requests. Remember, request, una petición. Do you think you could? Do you think you could? Do you think you could? ¿Crees que podrías? Could I borrow from you? That borrow, okay? Could I borrow from you? Or, yeah, could I borrow from you? Esto es prestar. But remember, in English, borrow, uh, the verb prestar got two different meanings in English. One action is to give and one action is to receive. I'm sorry. Perdón que me los traigo. Eh, bor, eh, prestar in English, two words, dos palabras. One is to give, una es dar prestado, and the other one is pedir prestado. Okay? Like, let's see. Hey, Vladimir, can you lend me your pencil? Can you lend me your pencil? Sure, teacher. Okay, thank you. There, there it is. Le digo, puede darme prestado. Hey, Again, the same sentence. Hey, Vladimir, can I borrow your pencil? You see? Puedo pedirte prestado o pedirle. Because it's cool, it's more polite. Como es cool, está siendo más amable. Okay? Okay, yes. Just to get something clear, just to have it clear. Solo para que lo tengamos claro. Let's see, let's continue, guys. Now, lend me, this is the one that I get, that I told you. Can I, can I, puedo? Can you, puedes? And let's see, next one will be, could I possibly, could I possibly, could I possibly, then we have, Could I? Could you possibly? Could you? I look forward to hearing from you soon. I need to. I need to. I need to prepare a PowerPoint. Can you help? I would be. I would be. I'd be grateful if you could. Estaré muy estaría muy agradecido si pudieses. This is very, very formal. I'll be very grateful if you could. May I? Puedo. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we have first, remember, can. Can is for informal. Could is a little bit more formal. 
now? Could I? Could you possibly? These are very formal. Could you? I need to. Can you help? I'd be very grateful if you could. Now, with these sentences, what are we going to do right now? Let's see, let's see. Uh, Sonia, could you tell me please the name of your kids? Yes. Mm, my girl is Daniela Montserrat. Yes. And my boy, Diego Manuel. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Let's see. Edwin, could you please turn off your microphone? Hey, teacher. You see? I was going to ask him to turn it on, but he did it. So I asked him to turn it off. You see, it's very simple. Could you please? In this case, I am being very formal. But imagine that I, I got a very good relationship with Susana. And I say, hey, Susana, uh, can I go to your house tomorrow? Listen, can I yes. go? And she goes like, yes, sure, no problem. You see, it's informal. In this case, it was informal. Eso fue muy informal. Okay. Or imagine I ask Alfonso, hey, Alfonso, can I call you after class? Can I call you after class? Yes. Yes. He goes yes, like, yes, yeah, sure. Oh, no problem. Sure, go ahead. Okay, those are informal words for expressing, informal expressions for saying, uh, for making requests. Now, okay. I have a question. Yes, tell me. Um, esas preguntas, voy a hacerla en español, lo siento. Yep. Esas preguntas que acaba de hacer, así informales, ¿cómo sonarían de una manera formal? The only difference to make them formal is could. La diferencia para hacerlas formales es could. Eh? Could. If I ask you, Susana, I'm sorry, could I go over to your house tomorrow? This is a formal request. Es una petición formal. Okay? This is very formal. It's a different situation. Imagine that perhaps I am... I am selling her something. Le estoy vendiendo algo. And I tell her, Susana, uh, Miss, I tell her, Miss Hernandez, Mrs. Hernandez, could I go to your house tomorrow? This is formal, okay? But if we are friends, I say, hey, Susana, can I go to your house tomorrow for dinner? Are you going to cook? You see, that's informal. I am even inviting myself. Me estoy auto invitando. It's informal, okay? It's different like if I say, hey, Sandra, uh, can we have a cup of coffee tomorrow? It's informal. What will be the answer, Sandra, if I, am, if I tell you, hey, Sandra, can I invite you a cup of coffee tomorrow? Sí, te lo escucho cortado. Oh, man. Please. Please. And I was excited, y yo emocionado. I was asking you, Sandra, can I invite you a cup of coffee tomorrow? A cup of coffee tomorrow? I don't like coffee. Oh, man. I failed. Fracasamos. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, same, the same will happen in this case. Listen, I will make it formally. Let's see. Sonia, eh... Well, actually, Mrs. Mrs. Lasso, uh, could we could we talk about the project over a cup of coffee? Listen to the to the request. Just the request. Could could we? Yeah, I know. I know you don't like coffee. She likes tea. Could we talk about the project? 
over a cup of coffee. This is formal, okay? The other question, yeah, I know you don't like Sonia, thank you. The other question I asked Sandra before was, can I invite you perhaps like this for a coffee? You see, those, the difference in that case is just uh, by the can, the difference between can and cool makes a whole difference. You are talking from formal to informal, okay? Simplemente el uso de esos dos la vuelve formal o informal. Now, your boss can use can. Su jefe le puede decir a usted un request using can. It's your boss. Okay. Some bosses are like very formal and very polite. Algunos jefes son muy formales y, y amables. And perhaps some of them will talk to you like, could you please? Some others are like, hey, can you help me? Can you come to my office? Algunos le van a decir, hey, can you come to my office? That's informal. And some bosses can tell you, could you come to my office? Even the accent will change. Aún el, 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 the intonation is going to be different. Aún la entonación va a cambiar. From can to could. But you don't talk to your boss using can. Usted no le haga una petición a su jefe utilizando can. That's informal. Okay? If you are talking to somebody up from you, si usted está hablando con alguien más arriba, you use could cuando le hago una petición. Okay? Remember that because uh, uh, we need to be polite with the figures of authority. Con las figuras de autoridad debemos de ser polite. Questions? Preguntas? Mm. Is similar a make? Make? Es, es similar a... Uh, ¿Cómo es? May. 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 Hold on. Be quiet. Oh. Take it easy. In a <laughs> few minutes. En unos minutos. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. No problem. Quest, uh, questions related to the request I have explained? ¿Alguna pregunta con los requests que les he explicado? No? Okay, cool, because we are going to use them further along in the class. Más adelante lo vamos a usar. Let's go back to the presentation. Let's see. Hey, welcome, Elizabeth. Let me get Daisy Elizabeth in the list. Okay. Hello, teacher, perdón. No problem, no problem, no problem. Me cuesta encender mi micrófono. No problem, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, guys. We'll go back to the presentation. Vamos de nuevo a la presentación. May I? ¿Puedo? May I is very similar to could. But we are going to talk about could not, we are going to talk about can. Could not, we use could not when we did not, uh, the possibility to do something in the past, okay? Can express ability, possibility, permission, any request in present. Look, ability, possibility, permission, and request in present. When I was young, I could not swim. Aquí hablamos de una habilidad pasada que no podíamos. Realizar. Now I can swim. When he was one year old, he could not read. Now he can read. When he was one year old, he could not read. He didn't have the ability. Now he can. Acá no tenía la habilidad. Now he does. O ella puede. When he was seven years old, he could not understand English. Now he can.
can. Okay. The main, the three main uses of can are ability, possibility, and permission. The main three uses of can are ability, possibility, and permission. Las tres principales son ability, possibility, and permission. However, sin embargo, there are some other uses of can. I'm sorry, a typo. Perdón el error aquí a la escritora. Uses of can as we will see below. To express ability. Okay. Can means to be physically able to do something or to know how to do something. Birds can fly. Elephants can't fly. I can speak two languages. You can drive as fast as you want on the German motorways. Yeah, this is true. You can drive as fast as you want on the German motorways. Okay, now let's see. I can, let's see, let's see. Well, what can I do? Hmm. Oh, I can play the, the trombone. What about you, Vladimir? Tell me an ability that you possess. Sorry, I don't have any ability. I can yes, take a nap. <laughs> no, yes, you, you, do. you can work with computers. That's ah, it. yes, I can work with computers. Sorry. Perfect. That's, remember, it's a physical ability or to know how to do something. La habilidad física o el saber cómo hacer algo. Ah, okay. I can connect, I can interconnect to buildings by a LAN. To, to connect to what? Interconnect to buildings. Dos edificios con una LAN. Oh, wait. Oh, um, with a landline. Mm -hmm. la, yes, yes, I, I understand. Uh, an L -A -N. Perfect, thank you. Now, let's see. Sonia, tell me. A sentence using can related about yourself. I don't understand. I can play the trombone. Vladimir can connect to buildings using a LAN. What about you? Um, uh, how do you say um, eh, improvisación? Eso es lo mío. Improvise. Soy muy hábil para improvisar cuando hay dificultad. I can improvise. Mm -hmm. I can I improvise. Can improv improvise. Yes, perfect. Improvise. Thank you. Eso es lo mío. That's cool, that's cool. So it is good for working under pressure. Es buena para trabajar bajo presión. Yeah, that's Eso nice. Mío, yeah. Okay, let's see. Susana, what about you? I can crack bones. You can like what? Like a little practice. You I can, can crack bones. Oh, really? You yes. Can crack bones? Okay. Yes, I like will. a little practice. I will never get close to you. espalda, piernas, brazos. No me la acercaré. <laughs> I have okay. never ever let nobody do that to me. Creo que nunca dejaría yo que alguien me hiciera. No way, Jose. I Relaja know. mucho. It stresses me if, if people start touching me like that. Me estresa si alguien me comienza a tocar like a massage or something. A massage or something like that. It stresses me out. Realmente en mi caso es lo opuesto. Me estresa si alguien trata de darme un masaje o algo por el estilo. I get tense. So, no way, Susana. Get away from me. Very, very away. Let's see, let's see. Sandra, tell me something using can, please. Sandra. Hi, teacher. Tell me. Repeat, please. Okay, we are talking, we are making sentences using can. Estamos haciendo oraciones utilizando el can. Okay, I can play the, the trombone. Vladimir can connect the buildings using a land. Sonia can improvise. 
Susana can crack bones. What about you? I can play the guitar. The guitar. The guitar. Okay, that's cool. We are going to make a group. Vamos a hacer un grupo acá. Excellent. Thank you. We are going to create a band. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Alfonso, what about you? <clears throat> I just said, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can. Um, uh, tocar trompeta. Play the trumpet. Play the trumpet. Oh, really? Yes. That makes both. That makes two of us. Eso nos convierte en dos. I can play the trumpet, the trombone. Yeah. Y ahí tengo la boquilla. Still? That's cool. That's cool. The only thing I cannot do is to play like in a marching band. Lo que nunca hice fue tocar en una marching band. No. Teacher, for what? For what? Why? Why is the question? Uh, Oh, for why? Sorry. Why? <laughs> oh, because my my music teacher and didn't ever let us. Mis dos profesores de música nunca me dejaron. Because we were we were in a different type of, of, of learning. Okay, estábamos en un tipo de aprendizaje distinto. That's why we never played like that. I mean, we used to play like um, we used to play like salsa, like um, cumbia. Merengue, tropical music. Salsa. Yeah. Well, and we did some adapts. Hicimos algunas adaptaciones. Like once we did one adaptation of uh, one song from the Beatles. Ooh. We played as a band. So it was cool. Thank you very much. Let's see. Okay. Edwin, what about you? Tell me something you can do, please. I cannot play soccer. You can play soccer. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. I envy you. Yo lo envidio. I cannot. <laughs> I am. I suck at soccer. Yo apesto en eso. I am bad soccer player. Good. Luis, what about you? Tell me something you can do. I can play ping pong. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. I am good. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> that's nice no no thank no, you but, Luis but, uh, but can, you can I like this so but you can pero si puede that's good yeah yeah I can a little and that thing is too fast for me it's es muy rápido para me thank you okay Walter Ruiz what about you tell me something you can do mm, I had learning to drive use while watching videos you can drive while watching videos. Yeah. You can get into an accident, my friend. No. You could, podría. Be no, careful. No, never. I had six years with motorcycle and two years in car. No, man. Well, it's a different ability. I cannot. <laughs> I need to be very concentrated on the street. No, for no. I can aprendí a manejar viendo videos. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I learned how to drive. I learned how to drive just by watching videos. That's cool. That's cool. Let me check just something. Okie dokie. Now, this is not interesting. Perfect. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yes. Let's start. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who else is around? Evelyn, tell me an ability you got. Mm, I can bake. I You can bake? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's excellent for my stomach. <laughs> Those are good news for the stomach. Yes. You can bake. Yes. That's nice. Yes. 
ella puede hornear. Yes. That's cool. That's a beautiful and delicious ability. Yes. Yeah, it's like, uh, let, who else? Oh, Susana, I remember she can cook for big quantities of people. I remember the other day she was preparing a big soup. Recuerdo que el otro día preparaba una gran sopa. <laughs> Thank you, Evelyn. Hola, gallina. Yeah. Let's see, Elizabeth, what about you? Tell me an ability you've got. I am made pupusas and cookie. Oh, I can prepare pupusas. Say yes. with me, I can prepare pupusas. I can prepare pupusas. Okay, those are not good news for me. Esas no son buenas para mí. That's bad, <laughs> bad news. Thank you, Elizabeth. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ivania, you home already? I think she's not yet. Oh, no, teacher. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, guys, let's continue with the presentation because we are going to analyze. Now we know that can is used for abilities, right? We are clear with that. Estamos claros que se usa para habilidades o el saber hacer algo, okay? Let's continue. Now, birds can fly, elephants cannot fly, can't fly. I can speak two languages. You can drive as fast as you want on the German motorways. Now, can is also used to express a possibility in general. This refers to a theoretical possibility. Note, we don't use can to talk about future possibilities. No lo utilizamos para hablar sobre posibilidades futuras. For this, you will use may or might. May or might expresan una posibilidad futura. No can, ¿ok? Can lo utilizamos para una posibilidad en general. It can get cold there at night, so take a jacket. I know you can win the competition. Well, I think your car can be repaired, but it's not going to be cheap. Remember, to express a possibility in general, what's this? What's this? Una posibilidad en general. Okay, let's see. Um, we can pass the exam we can pass the exam that's a possibility in general así en general verdad nosotros podemos pasar el exam okay that's a possibility in general it's not specific no está siendo específica okay we can we can finish the contract podemos cumplir con el contrato that's a general possibility because there are many different factors including that sentence. Hay muchísimos factores incluidos ahí. Let's continue. To offer to do something for others. Look, to offer to do something for others. Can is used when you offer to help someone to do something or when you offer to do something for them. You don't need to walk home. I can take you there if you like. Can I carry your bags for you? Okay, look, to offer to do something for others. Now, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, the situation is this. Uh, Vladimir, look. My car broke down. I don't know how to do to go to work tomorrow. Can I give you a ride if you want? If you want? Perfect. He's offering himself to help me. Él se ofrece a ayudarme. You see? Thank you, Vladimir. Susana. Okay. Hello, Susana. 
Hello. Look, Susan, I have a problem. Uh, I need to prepare a lunch for 20 people. <laughs> okay. Please make an offer. ¿Qué me contestaría usted haciendo un offer? You can make pupusas or sopa de gallina. Okay. You can make. She's making a suggestion. En este caso ella está haciendo una suggestion. Okay. Or she could have told me, oh, I can help you cooking. Ay, usted esperaba que dijera eso. Yes, and you didn't Sorry. want to help me. Y ella no quiso ayudarme. Bad friend. Uh, you, are, you are bad, you are bad. But you get the idea, right? Si entendemos la idea. When we use can for making offers. Yes? Like imagine that Alfonso's got a problem with the connections. Alfonso's got a problem with the connections for the elevator. And he calls his friend and says, hey man, we got a big problem right here with the connections. We don't know how we're going to do with it. Él le llama al amigo y le dice, mira, tenemos un grave problema con las conexiones. I mean, we made a mess up. And his friend says, oh, don't worry, I can help you. Y el amigo le dice, don't worry, I can help you. He's offering to help, ¿ok? El amigo dice, oh, yo puedo ayudarte. He's offering himself to help, ¿ok? Questions about this? ¿Nos vamos entendiendo? So, so, it's an offering. Nos ofrecemos para hacer algo. Así de simple. Cuando usted dice, hey, uh, se le presenta un problema. Este, Alfonso tiene problemas para preparar la declaración de renta y está comentándolo frente a varias personas. Y le dice Walter Arana, oh, don't worry, I'm an accountant. I can help you. Y le dice Walter, I can help you with your, with your declaration. Y le dice Walter, oh, yo puedo ayudarte con eso. That's piece of cake for him. Eso es facilísimo para él. He makes that every single month. Él declara todos los meses de la compañía. So, I mean, it's no big deal for him. You see? That's how we make offers. Let's continue. Okay, now this is our main thing. To ask for or give permission to request something. Can is used to ask for or request permission or to give permission. Se utiliza para pedir, solicitar permiso o dar permiso. Okay? Can't is used to refuse permission. El can se usa para refuse uh, rechazar. You can use my umbrella. I don't need it right now. You can use my umbrella. I don't need it right now. Can I sit in that chair, please? Mary, you can play outside if you like. Can I ask you a question? You can go to the park. It will still be wet from the rain last night. We can leave the room until the assignment is completed. Okay, permission. Let's see, let's see. Sonia, you are my boss, okay? I have a problem, Sonia. Um, I have a really, really bad hair ache. Tengo un dolor de pelo espantoso. Can I, can I be absent tomorrow from the, from the job? ¿Puedo saltar mañana? Pues no puede. <laughs> okay. No, ajá, In English. Decirle... <laughs> use the same, can. Use el can. But in negative. Uh, no, you can't. Not can. Oh, no, not. you can't. No, or, you can't. Yes, or no, you okay. cannot. Okay, you see, remember, no, you cannot. in the thing I just show you, in the, the, the slide I just show you, and as like I have to present that, it says there that cannot is used to refuse permission. Okay. Se usa para 
rechazar un permiso, ¿ok? And I was telling her, hey, can I be absent tomorrow? ¿Puedo faltar mañana? I got COVID and she said, no, you cannot come to work. Bad boy. Terrible person. Thank you, Sonia. Appreciate it. Okay. Imagine that... Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Where is Walter? Walter! But Walter teacher. I'm sorry, Walter Ruiz. Yes, Walter Ruiz. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Walter Ruiz, tell me. Uh, can I can I talk to you after the class? Sorry? Can I talk to you after the class? Okay, no problem. You see, it's a informal request. Thank you very much. Questions here? Preguntas acá? No? Okay, before we continue, I'm sorry guys, I need to get the attendance again. Antes de continuar, voy de nuevo por la attendance. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Lizette García Rodríguez. Absent. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. And I... I'm sorry, didn't I say your My name? My name. I'm sorry, Mr. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just got there. Le puse el presente, but I didn't call your call out your name. Okay, let's continue. Karen, say present. Karen Michelle García Rodríguez. Present, oh, teacher. Karen. You didn't say present, Karen. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Where was I? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Perdón. This is it. Okay. Can't. Something that is forbidden or not allowed, prohibido, or not allowed, or no permitido. We cannot park the car next to this fire hydrant. You can't drive as fast as you want in the city. There are speed limits. You can smoke in the restaurant. You cannot drive a car without a license. Look, can't is used for something that is forbidden. Let me check on something, please. Let me see. Oh, I'm sorry, guys.
I think they made a mistake with something. Creo que alguien se equivocó en algo. I'm sorry. Something that is forbidden. Okay, let's see. Eh, Walter Arana, tell me something that is forbidden in your company. Algo que está prohibido in your company, please. Uh, you cannot smoke in your company. In my company. Sorry, in my company. Oh, really? That's bad. So if I want to relax, where do I go? Y si quiero relajarme. It's out. <laughs> oh, I have to walk out of the company for having a smoke. Yes. Okay, well, that's normal in most companies. It's not normal in las compañías nowadays. Okay, let's see. Uh, where's Walter Ruiz? What about in your company? Tell me something that is forbidden in your company, please. What is the chair? Something that is forbidden or not allowed in your company. Algo que no se permite en su compañía. That is forbidden, maybe smoking in the office. You can't. I can't smoke in the office. Okay, so you go out. Yeah. In your, in your break time. Yes. Okay. In, in real, it's uh, out of the... Of the company? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. Smokers have to go to the street. Los fumadores les toca en la calle. That's normal. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hello, Ivania, welcome. When I said hello, you went. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, Ivania, tell me please something that you cannot do in your company, something that is forbidden. Oof. Um, maybe eat uh, the decks. Okay. Eating in your work station. In your work, tell say with me, you cannot you cannot eat eat in your work station. Your work station. Uh, uh, work station. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's see, Vladimir. What about yours? Tell me in your company something that is forbidden. Well, I guess you can't touch the fire alarm if it's not necessary. Okay, yeah, nobody is allowed to, to yes. hit the fire alarm. Yes. But they, someone did it once. Oh my gosh, but you got computers, so you got the system of what you got? Possession? No, I don't know. I, I don't work at Central Bank when that happens. But the person that Sound alarm, the fire alarm, uh, there is more in the central bank. I can imagine. Si ustedes usan un sistema, al tener computadoras, usan un sistema, it's no water, usan gas. Yes. In order to, to, to fire fights. Yeah, that's the word. Si ellos utilizan gases para... Eliminar el oxígeno, actually. That's very dangerous. Yes. Cut the oxygen. Yeah. You cut the in... flow of oxygen. Cortan okay. el flujo de oxígeno in order to set off the fire para apagar el fuego. Okay, let's see. Sonia, tell me something that is forbidden in your company. Um... In the call center of my company, you cannot use cell phones. Oh, really? That's bad. Qué malo. Mm. Yeah, about to leave. In the call center? No. Mala política. That's normal. No call centers. That's normal. That's a rule. Realmente es una regla. Aquí está mi cartera. Okay, let's see, let's see. What about you, Elwin? Thank you, Sonia. Appreciate it. You can not uh, allow, 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 allow uh, drug. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, drug test. Oh, really? You undergo drug test? Yeah. 
Oh man, those things are weird. Yeah, <laughs> cosas son raras. Yeah, but uh, that's something that also happens in some call centers that you have to take drug tests regularly. Uno se toma esos exámenes regularmente. How regularly do you take drug tests? ¿Qué tan a menudo lo haces? Mm, two or three in the year. Okay, and they are surprised, right? Yeah. Uh, bad thing. <laughs> uh, no problem. Yeah, not a problem, but still, it's, sometimes it's kind of uncomfortable. Es un poquito incómodo, nada más. Yeah, but you get used to it. Evelyn, tell me something that is forbidden in your company. My company um, is smoking the office. Smoking in the office. Yeah, that's not, no. Thank you. What about in your case, Elizabeth? Tell me something that is forbidden in your company. Um, you cannot... Um... Sandalias. Wear sandals. Um, wear sandals. In the company. Is okay. it wear sandals? Mm -hmm. Yes, wear sandals. Wear sandals. Really? You cannot wear, wear, wear sandals. You cannot wear sandals. You cannot wear sandals. Oh, that's bad. I love wearing sandals. Qué malo. A mí me encanta wear sandals. <laughs> uh, whenever I'm not working, I wear sandals all the time. Yo si no estoy trabajando, I wear sandals to go anywhere. Yo voy de sandalias a donde sea. It's so comfortable. I mean, I reached that age when you prefer comfortable in, on top of anything. Ya llegué a la edad en la que prefiero lo cómodo antes de todo. Let's see. Who's missing? Who's missing? Who's missing? ¿Qué me falta? ¿Qué me falta? Luis. Thank you, Luis. <laughs> Tell me something that is forbidden in your company, Luis. Well, in my company, you cannot drink liquor. Oh, really? That's bad, I'm sorry. man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's bad. It's so nice to drink liquor and drive a car. I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Luis. Okay. What about your case, Susana? Tell me something that is forbidden in your company. In my company, in my area, um, there is not much restriction. But in other areas, you can go to their office. Oh, really? You can move between offices? Uh-huh, yes. Oh. We can we can do that. Okay, that's interesting. You cannot move between offices. Interesting. No. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. What about you, Karen? Karen is missing. Yes, teacher. Uh, in my company, you cannot say bad words. Oh, really? And oh. you cannot uh, bullying and co-workers. Okay, thank you. Look, you cannot use profane language. Profane, use profane language, okay. It says to use bad words. To use profane language means usar, decir malas palabras. Okay, Hacemos that's... descuentos en planilla. Say what? <laughs> nunca, lo ha, nunca se ha hecho, pero cuando alguien hace una broma pesada o una mala palabra, medio se sale, como, eh, eh, descuento en planilla. That's bad, that's bad. That's too strict. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's see. Could. Could is similar to can and often replaces can in the past tense, though not always. Could is similar to can and often replaces can in the past tense. Okay, look. First off, primero, could is similar y a menudo reemplaza can in the past tense, en el tiempo pasado. Look at me. When I was, let's see, when I was young, uh, I could play 
badminton. Cuando yo era joven, yo podía jugar badminton. I could play badminton. But I haven't played in more than 20 years. No he jugado más de 20 años. So I cannot in the present. No puedo en el presente. I could in the past. Tenía esa habilidad en el pasado. So instead of saying, there's no way to say in can exactly in past. No puedo usar el can para el pasado. So I use could instead of can to express a past ability. Okay? Clear? Yeah, sure. Let's continue. To express ability in the past, what I told you, I could ride a horse when I was younger, but now I can't. Look, I could ride a horse when I was younger, but now I can't. She could juggle eight balls when she was only 10 years old. He could read when he was three years old. So we are expressing an ability in the past. Just to be clear, juggle. When you got like balls and you start like juggle. Uh, I don't know how to use that in Spanish. ¿Cómo se dice? Mm, malabares. Malabar. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. That's to juggle. Juggle. Okay. But the, the expression juggle is hacer malabares. Okay. Like uh, uh, Evelyn was telling me. Evelyn me estaba diciendo el otro día, oh, she told me, oh, my boss is so demanding, mi jefe es tan demandante, she always makes me juggle with so many different things, me hace que haga malabares con tanto trabajo, she told me, so you can use it in that context also, when you have to juggle situation or juggle difficulties, okay, let's continue. Okay, let's see. Polite word used to ask for permission or to request something in the present. This is what we want. Aquí es donde queremos llegar. Cool. Polite word used to ask for permission or to request something in the present. Could I please use your bathroom? Could we move on to the next topic now, please. Could you pass me the salt, please? I am busy right now. Could you call back later? So, could. Polite word used to ask for permission or to request something. When? In the present. General permission in the past. In high school, we couldn't leave the classroom without a pass. He couldn't go to the concert because his mother, his mother wouldn't let him. A suggestion when asked what to do, choices and opportunities. He could try and fix it himself. We could go to the movies if you are interested. A suggestion when asked what to do. Cuando nos preguntan, ¿qué podemos hacer? Para dar esa sugerencia, you use could, ¿ok? So, but what I'm not more interested in is this. Polite word used to ask for permission or to request something in the present. Do you remember when I was asking uh, for the cup of coffee? I got two refusals. Tuve dos rechazos in one night. Oh, that's terrible. So, do you remember? I used in the informal in the informal, I use can when I was talking to Sandra. When I was talking to Sonia, I use could. It was formal, polite. Cuando hablamos formal, estamos siendo más polite. También nos volvemos más amables. Okay? So, that's when we use could. Like, when I ask Susana, hey, Susana, can I go to your house? Can I go over to your house? ¿Puedo ir a visitarla? It was informal. Right? Eso fue informal. I use can. But if I want to make it formal, I say, hey, Susana, 
Could I visit you tomorrow? ¿Podría visitarla? Hay una diferencia entre que yo le diga, hey, mire, ¿puedo llegar mañana? A que yo le diga, ¿podría llegar mañana? I mean, that's the switch between informal and formal. Now, guys, your turn. Su turno. We need to create a conversation. Vamos a crear una conversación. Ok. We need to create a conversation using can or could. We are going to work in groups. Let me create the groups. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I need to change. Let me just give me a second, please. Okay. This is okay. This is okay. This is okay. Perfect. Groups created. Please jump in. Five minutes to create a short conversation. Short, okay? I don't want it too long. No lo quiero muy larga. Le pregunto. Ah, uh, en English, of course. Sí, a, a preguntarle iba. Good morning. Good morning. ¿Qué le podría decir? I'm. Um, Good morning. I'm cool I, cool I ask you questions. ¿Qué quiero decir? I cool ask you questions. Ah, okay. Let's say Let's set the, the topic. Pongamos el contexto. Let's get the context. Ella es mi jefe y yo llego a hacerle una consulta. Ok. Entonces, yo le quiero preguntar. Yo llego, la saludo y le digo que si le puedo hacer una pregunta. Could I ask you something? Cool. Ajá, esa era, esa era mi pregunta para no usted. No cool. Que... No cool. Could. No. Could. Could. Sí. Could I sería, ¿verdad? Could I, I could. Listen to me. Escúcheme. Could I. Could I. Ok. Say it. Dígalo. Could I. Could I. Could I. Like that. Ask you a question. Could I ask you, could I ask you something? Ay, ¿Cómo me dijo que le, se le could contaba? Could I ask you something? Something. Que le, si le puedo Something. The thing is this. Uh, okay, let's see. Could I ask you a question? Mm, yeah. Uh, it's okay. You can say, could I ask you a question? Or could I ask you something? Okay. Uh, could I ask you something? Okay. Now, there's something that I didn't mention. Hubo un detalle que no le mencioné. When you use could I, could I ask, cuando dice esto, el could I ask, eh, listen to this. I'm sorry, could I ask, could I ask something from you? Esto es, puedo pedirle algo. Could I, I ask you something, something from you? From you. Okay. Lo que le voy a pedir son vacaciones. Okay, cool. Negation. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sony, I'm sorry. Can you stay mm -hmm. today after the class? Puede quedarse 10 minutos después de la clase. Sí. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Bueno. Vamos a, bueno, lo voy a escribir. Hello, guys. Hello, Hi, Mr. Garcia. Uh, okay. Hello, Mr. Sevillano. Okay, can I ask you something? Something. Uh, can I ask yes. you something? Uh -huh. Oh, thanks, teacher. Something? Something. T-H-I-N-G. Ah. Something. Yeah? T-H. Like that. Something. Something. Yeah. something. something. I'm problem. <laughs> no problem. That's normal. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Entonces. What do you say, Walter? Yo sería. Yes. yes. No sí. problem. Ahora no puedo decir. Okay. Podríamos vernos en la esquina. We can see. No, hay. We could oh. meet. We, we could podríamos ir a un lugar. We could meet. We could meet. Ah, ok, we could meet. Teacher, I have a question al, al inicio, ya que puede ver, ¿verdad? Yep. Vaya, eh, es con el I, en cuanto a la primera oración que dice Walter Arana. Could ¿Es I, I could? You? No, could, could I, I buy? Could I. Es que Así could es. I es para hacerlo tipo pregunta, ¿verdad? Y I could es para como... Yes, exactly. Así como esto está perfecto. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Solo que recuérdense, como es una pregunta, es un offering. ¿Ok? Está ofreciendo algo. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you. No, it's perfect, perfect, excellent. Ahora no es ofrecido. <risa> Ay, Elisa. No puedes despedir ni nada. No. no. ¿Para qué? Let me ask you, sería. Let me ask you. Ok, no, 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 no. 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 Hi Elizabeth, how are you today? I'm fine. How about you? I'm okay. Can you invite Vladimir to the party? Can you invite Vladimir? Ah, me quito el tú. Sorry. Antes de un nombre no ponemos el tú. Ah, perdón. Okay. Can you invite Vladimir to the party? Yes. Well, let me ask my husband. Ask my husband. But I guess I could. Vladimir, could you come to the party? That's some grace. But, but, no buy. But when is? When, when, when is, is it? When is, is it? it? Yes. Who is it? It will be this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday. Yes, this coming Saturday. Uh, double M. No. No, no, no. Normal. Coming. Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. I cannot because I am. I am going. Oh no! I I am working. I am working this Saturday. I am work, working. Work. Working. Working because the contraction. I am working. The present. No. Place. Uh, place you. Uh -huh. uh, where do you like? So, no, would, would, would you like? Sería. Would, would. Would. La L no suena. No suena. Would. Uh, pero sería como o V. Go. Así, teacher. Would. If you like, Sandra, I contest you. Uh -huh. Let's go to a cafeteria. Vamos a una cafeteria. Creo que así sería cafeteria. La Let's go to a cafeteria. To a cafeteria. ¿Cómo es, teacher, la, la pronunciación? Let's go to a cafeteria. Let's go to a cafeteria. Ay, no. Cafe no, cambiamos la muy complicada. No. No, 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 no. Cafeteria, cafeteria. Es que se narra. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yes, it's easy. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yes. Ya pude. No lleva tinte, vea. 
Hey, what? ¿Sí se escribe? No, no, no accent en English. No lleva el. No, no existe okay. en inglés. Ok. Ay, perdón, es la costumbre. Ay, no, ay, no, ay, no, ay, no. Where would you like to go? Uh, where would you like to go? To go. Okay, and you can say, instead of saying, let's go to the cafeteria, you can say, we could go, we could go to the cafeteria. Uh, perdón. Uh, acá, teacher? No, no, no. We can... Aquí, mire, donde dice let's go, en lugar de let's go, podemos poner we could go. Let's, let's we'll go. Podemos. Ah, ah, we could podemos. go. Erase let's. Cool. Quíteme let's. Ah, ok. Sería call, call, go. Entonces sería we. Ah, 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 ah. No, call. We. So, could ah we could uh -huh. go. go to the cafeteria yes. cafeteria Evelyn listen to me escúchame L antes de D no suena could 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 ok perfect could we could Go to the cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yep, perfect. Cafeteria. Okay. Good morning, Miss Rodriguez. Could I ask you something? Yes, tell me, Sonia. I need a vacation. I could take three days. Yes, of course. We call review the date. Do a schedule. Yes. Thank you. I will send you this date. Thank you, Sonia. Ivania, don't allow her. A mí no me quiso dar un día para ir al médico. Don't give her permission. No me le dé permiso. Uy, ahí entró Mauricio también. No los había visto por estar viendo el texto. Pero en la, pero en la, pero en la vida real ni un día me dan a mí. Yeah. <laughs> Increíble, no creerán cuántos me deben a mí. A mí me deben 60 días. Uy, está peor que yo, a mí me deben 51. <risa> Jesús bendito. <risa> Terrible. Sí, por más que uno quiera. Sí, mm. cuesta. I get 30 years. Yo recibo 30 al año. Besides all the regular vacations, aparte de todas las vacaciones, all the holidays, todos los festivos. ¿En serio? Yep. Es un, mucho día. Yep. Pero ustedes trabajar. It's boring. Es aburridísimo. Ajá, por eso le digo ustedes seguir trabajando, mínimo. I seguir get trabajando. insomnia. <laughs> Una preguntita. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Usted aprendió a bailar profesionalmente o no más le gusta? Y lo hace así. I had a, a dancing teacher. Tuve maestra de baile. I learned how to tango. Ah. And I learned how to do, how to dance salsa a little bit of merengue and for a while I used to be in charge of a group of dancing y por un tiempo estuve a cargo de un grupo de danza moderna ah. I was young you era joven ¿En cuánto tiempo, teacher? How much? How long ago? ¿Hace cuánto? Ajá uh -huh. No, o sea, no, ¿cuánto tiempo? <laughs> tanto, tanto baile ¿Cuánto tiempo? Well, Actually, like uh, the first one, the, the first one I told you, tango, when I was like eight or nine years old, cuando tenía ocho, nueve años, mm -hmm. aprendí. And then I, I stopped for a couple of years, de unos años. Then I got again on, when I was like 20, luego comencé de nuevo a los veintitantos. 
until I was 28, hasta los 28. Then I had a couple of brief times like training kids, mostly teenagers. Luego trabajé con adolescentes for two years, like six years ago, por dos años, hace dos años. Uh, uh, preparing uh, choreographies, preparando coreografías, stuff like that. But I, I'm old. I cannot move as before. Oh, ya no me muevo. I mean, everything cracks. Oh, truena. <laughs> Time passes by. <laughs> El tiempo pasa. No, and remember that the, due to due to pandemics, the life has changed for some of us. Now I spend most mm -hmm. of my days sitting in front of screens. He pasado un año sentado frente a máquina, day and night, weekends. Believe me, I mean my life changed a lot. Mm -hmm. Why was that question? ¿Por qué esa pregunta? Se me ocurrió. Es que a mí también me gusta bailar. Y como usted dijo que le gustaba, que tenía medio curiosidad. Porque como vive trabajando, dije, ¿qué hora es este hombre baila? Sí. Yeah, I used to. Solía. Mm, but, I mean, not in a professional level. No en un nivel profesional. But I used to enjoy it. Lo disfrutaba. Mm -hmm. and, and I have had many different jobs. Yo he trabajado de todo un poco. Mm. Almost everything. Casi todo. Ah. Cabrera. Ya me, ya me cambié Cabrera, por dos. <ríe> ah, qué yeah. care. Es sí. mi coworker, no es mi hermano. <ríe> nice to meet you. Tell me, what is your name? Alfonso. I am Alfonso Cabrera. Come on, guys. You just got one minute. Solo les un minuto. One minute. Oh, no. Eh, tenemos ah, más. Ah, sí. ok. I'm sorry. Oh, teacher. I was Lo que pasa es que... Para yeah. <laughs> okay, look, para, look, 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 don't move it. No lo mueva. Okay. He okay. could come tomorrow at 8 a.m. Quíteme el o'clock. O'clock. No para necessary. Decir un punto. No you necessary. can say no, 8 a.m. Y si quiere decir a las 8 en puntito, 8 a.m. Sharp. S sharp. H A R A. R R R P R R R R R R P Sorry, Char R Okay. I am Char. Yep. Thank you so much. Y aquí va los, ya va la la entrevista. Nice to meet you too. Double O. Oh. Ah, ah, ok. Ajá. Ay, no y luego yo le digo ah, que. Este. Dígame, Karen. Eh... Hi, teacher. Hello. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Only way a uh, Walter is uh, receive a call the, oh. from his job. Yeah. He's always on call. He siempre está. Yeah. Uh -huh, busy, very busy. Yes, but I, I make something and he he types. He types. Ah, he types. No, okay, he, he is types. typing. He is typing. He is typing. Yes, he okay. is typing. Okay, he's typing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we go. Teacher. I'm sorry, the system kicked you out. Lo siento, el sistema lo sacó tan rápido. You have 60 seconds. <laughs> okay, before we move on, antes que continuemos, eh, I need, please, Mr. Edwin Daniel Sevillano to do your presentation right now, please. Necesito que me haga la presentación right in this moment. Wait a moment, please, teacher. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Teacher, we do one again. Okay, so we can give it with the minute he needs. 
Así la vamos a ver. Edwin, ¿estás listo para ir ahora? Ok. Yo estoy listo. Ok, no hay problema. Déjame compartir mi screen. Ok, perfecto. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes, we do. Let me put in mode presentation, please. Did you see? Yeah. Okay. Good evening to everybody. I want to talk about Central, uh, Central Bank, Central Reserve Bank. Description of Central Reserve Bank of El Salvador. Well, I'm going to explain mission, vision, and values. I'm getting now the mission, vision, values, and principles that governs Central Bank. Mission, promote the stability and development of the financial system, generate economic information, support the formulation and execution of public policies in economic and financial matters to contribute to the economic and social development of the country. The vision is to be the autonomous governing institution of monetary, financial, and credit law, widely recognized for its leadership, authority, capacity, and technical credibility, and the principles and values are autonomy, equality and equity, ethics, efficiency and excellence and innovation. That's the, that's the reason that I am here, innovation. Well, functions and organizations. Um, this is uh, in agreement of Article 3 of fundamental law of the Central Reserve Bank states, Central Reserve Bank will have as a fundamental objective to watch over currency, stability, and to maintain favorable monitoring, exchange, credit, and financial conditions to preserve economic stability. There are a lot of articles of the fine functions of the central banks. I'm going to pass it. <laughs> But because the, well, because the principal function of the central bank, since 2001, when we have the link, um, Spanish means ley de integración monetaria, when we have dollars that enforce, Central Reserve Bank changed some of these functions principles. It focuses to deal with the following strategic areas for countries' economy. Regulation and monitoring of financial system. International Reserves Administration, Payments System and Financial Services, Financial Agent of the State, Importers and Exporters Services, Statistics, Projections and Economic and Financial Studies. The structure of the financial system is in that way. BCR is the regulator and SSF is the supervisor, SSF means financial system superintendents. Its objective is to promote macroeconomic stability, particularly monetary stability, low inflation, more savings, increases productivity, and promotes low interest rates. All of these encourage investment creating a healthy cycle like a macroeconomic stability, better opportunities, and macroeconomic stability. The services to the citizens are library and museum, Luis Alfaro Duran. You can go to the library and museum and borrow some books about economy. And you can, you can show the money ball that is on the, machine, on the museum. We have the Imports and exports centers. That means that all, I, how do you say, I don't know how to say trámites. All the trámites. Transactions. Sorry, for my Spanish. Transactions. All the transactions for the 
transactions, thanks. All the transactions for the imports and exports are in the central bank at the CX area. We have financial allocation programs. That means that we have uh, hope to use a credit card, hope to use a, a loan, a bank loan. I don't know if it's the, the Yes, that's the word. correct. That loan and a lot of topics that relational with financial education. And the principal function is regulation and laws of the financial system. We create the normatives that re for regulate the financial system. We can, we have citizen particip participation. Citizen. Citizen, citizen. citizen citizen participation, sorry, citizen participation through the social media. You can put your comments by Facebook, Twitter. You can send emails and you can watch the videos on YouTube. But this is the B1. Why employee central bank wants to work there? Because we have uh, some benefits. First, there is a good job stability. And we have hospital medical insurance for employee and his family. We have life insurance, about forty forty thousand okay. dollars. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have vehicle insurance for employee and his family. It means that I have my car. My my wife has a car, and my son and my daughter has a car. We can use four four vehicles insurance. The best is we have 14 salaries plus one annual bonus. And Central Bank helps with the study expense like university careers, masters, PhD, technicals, English, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, that's my presentation. Perfect. Well, well done, well done. You just set the bar too high. Solo que me les puso la barra muy alta. Ah, sorry. Okay, it was perfect. But you, perfect. but you can you can use the source uh, HTTP. www.bcr.gov.sv. Okay, perfect. Now and listen to me. Listen to me. I'm sorry. All the information Vladimir. in the Spanish. Oh, perfect. Listen to me, Vladimir. Development. Ah, sorry, development. Contribute. Contribute. Sorry. Contribute. Sorry, sorry. Can you repeat? Contribute. Currency. 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 Now, uh, in one of your slides, in one of your slides, estaba payments, y luego estaba, mm, otra palabra, I Is don't remember. Payments? Yes. May I put it again? Payments. No, no, no. It's just uh, something that I need to clear. Payments okay. y luego venía otra palabra. Después del payments, como estaba en plural, me coloca el apóstrofe después de la S. ¿Se recuerda from last uh, motion? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Systems payments. Y luego usted explicó qué significaban las siglas LIM. ¿Ok? Uh, yes. Ok. We don't say... Oh, 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 ok, ok. No, it doesn't mean. No significa. Cuando son siglas de stand is like this cuando son signos ah, nosotros yes, you vamos told a explicar me the una, last the last class cuando vamos a explicar una sigla we say they stand, stand. for this is stand for they stand uh, for y luego decimos la explicación monetary integration law okay perfect very well done vladimir thank okay. you okay appreciate it edwin please Voy a compartir la pantalla. Excellent. Okay. Welcome to Intercept SADCB. Yes. We are a company dedicated to the security, security service of container inside of, and outside the country. Yeah. Among all service we offer are 
GPS satellite monitoring. We pour every half hour of the location, the container in real time. Custody survive from the warehouse to the port or vice versa. No sé cómo se dice vice versa. Vice versa. Vice versa. Vice versa. Vice versa. Service. We have people training in the field, professional in the area of monitoring and road safari. Safari. Safety. Safari. Safety. 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 Okay. We inform our client of any road accident and mobilize trainer personnel to the area to verify what has happened. Be sending for, for us by, by mail. mail and checking that by mails and checking that the labels and container are not damaged. I will be a place to pleasure to serve you. Attend we Juan Jose Murcia, security supervisor, supervisor, intercept SRSV. Because of very safety, sorry, is the most important things for you. Okay, now listen to me. Don't change it. Don't change it. No lo okay. uh, Dedicated. We are a company dedicated. Dedicated? To the security service of containers inside and outside the country. Among our services we offer are, okay, aquí solo hubo un error que se me olvidó mencionárselo. Among the services, no our, the services our. we offer are, okay? GPS satellite monitoring, report every half an hour of the location of the container in real time, custody service, service. Service. service from the warehouse to the port or vice versa. Ok, aquí le falta un hyphen. El guión que ponemos cuando las palabras van unidas y ah. solamente separadas por un guión, ese guión se llama hyphen. Ok, hyphen. health fleet patrol service. We have people training in the field, professionals in the area of monitoring and road, road safety. Let's see. Oh, here. To verify what has happened by sending photos by mail and checking that the labels, labels, okay, labels and containers are not damaged. It will be a pleasure to serve you attentively, Juan Jose Murcia, security, because safety, safety, okay, safety. Perfect. Very well done, mister. Excellent job. Now, Evelyn, your turn. Okay. Teacher. No problem. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hi, everybody. I'm Evelyn. I work in El Salvador. HEA, they stand for Grupo Especializado de Asistencia El Salvador. HEA, as the name suggests, is the leading company in El Salvador in assistance service. It has a presence in Latin America. During its trajectory, we have developed products for different types of clients, banks, insurance, financial institutions, department stores, to name a few, to whom we provide service adapted to their requirements. So I can mention some of the service it offers. Road assistance, Full supply, power switch, towing, car change, vehicle locksmith, inspection for a traffic accident, legal assistance, call center service, call center service, call center marketing, medical service, 
designers, driver service, residential service, such as glass, uh, change glass, home locksmith, plumbing, uh, and all services are attended with help of call center service agents, providers, and employees of the company for a better experience as clients. Okay, go back up, please. Scroll up. Vaya hasta arriba, please. Okay. Um, let me see. Developed. 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 Or was mm. developed? Uh, developed, yes. Developed? Yes, developed. No, the, it was well written. Está bien escrita, solo la pronunciación estoy mencionando. Oh. Developed. Developed. Okay. Then, uh, the second, and the last line, la última línea que tiene aquí, fuel supply. Fuel supply. Fuel. Yes. Fuel. Okay. Fuel. Fuel. Okay. You got power switch, towing, fire change, vehicle locksmith, inspection for traffic accident. That's perfect. Ahí estábamos bien. Go a little bit down. Scroll down, please. Legal assistance. Legal. Legal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, services. Call center services. Okay. Call center services. Medical services. Medical services. Designated driver services. Designated driver services. Okay. And home locksmith. Okay, home locksmith. Mm. Okay, if you are saying residential services, you don't need to say home locksmith, just locksmith. Como ya dijo que es un servicio residencial, no necesita decir de casa nuevamente. Yo soy mm, okay. Smith. Se okay. entiende. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. infer. Perfect. Very well done. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you. No, thanks to you, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I know guys, it's almost time. So give me one second. This conversation that we have today goes for tomorrow. Esta conversación que me han preparado ahora va para mañana. Just, I'm just writing down the, the groups. Solamente estoy tomando nota de los grupos. Walter and Walter. Group number four was Elizabeth, Louis, and Vladimir. And number five was Evelyn and Sandra. Okay, guys, now the presentation. Everybody needs to be ready tomorrow. Todos necesitan estar listos mañana. I could ask you the one that Vladimir and Evelyn and Edwin did today esa presentación que hicieron ellos ahora you could do it either tomorrow or Friday ustedes podrían hacerlo o mañana o el Friday ok remember it's simple it's simple es simple just ex talk about what your company does cuéntenme lo que hacen su compañía I mean uh, Vladimir's company, he was very specific because they have very specific information. Ellos tienen una información muy, muy específica. Due to the nature of the company, debido a la naturaleza de la compañía. Yes, it's economic vocabulary. Sorry. And some of you, your company, you can explain it easier. Algunos de ustedes me lo van a explicar mucho más fácil. In short, that's okay. That's perfect. What I need you is talking. I will... I am evaluating confidence. Estoy viendo la confianza que tienen. How do you express? How do you use the vocabulary? Como usan el vocabulario? And the problem is going to be because some of you are in the same companies. 
será un poquito repetitivo en algunos casos porque varios de ustedes trabajan en las mismas compañías, right? Así que Evelyn no me le va a dar copia. Sonia, Walter, don't cheat, know yourself. Los Walter no me van a copiar entre ustedes. Ok. So, let's see. Before we finish, guys, I need to get attendance one last time. I'm sorry. Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo, absent. Berta Maritza Molina, absent. Claudio Guadalupe Alfaro López, absent. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya. Present teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Present teacher. Karen Lizeth García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez, absent. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge, absent. Roxana Claribel Trejo de Pérez, absent. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Siraeta. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Good night to everybody. Bye. 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 We are going to do it tomorrow. Mañana lo vamos a pronunciar. Perfecto. Gracias. Feliz noche. Thank good you. night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night, mister. Take care. Okie dokie. Hello, Sonia. How are you? Hello. Okay, Hi. Sonia, in your case and in uh, the same as Vladimir's case, I will focus from now on, de ahora en adelante, nos vamos a enfocar not just in grammar, in your personal case, but I need you to also start reading. And I don't know how much time you got. No sé qué tanto tiempo tiene. Free time. ¿Conoce la palabra free time? <laughs> la he oído por ahí algunas personas okay. the question is this can you make time like five from five to ten minutes a day puede ser tiempo unos de cinco a diez minutos diarios si sí, sí. ok because uh, I would like you to the situation is this do you understand structures usted me entiende structures and you can apply them structures sí. But sometimes what you are missing is vocabulary. Lo que me le falta a veces es el vocabulario. You got confidence. Usted tiene confianza. I mean, for you it's not a problem to speak. Usted no es que, que le tiene la voz a la hora de hablar. I mean, it, you got confidence. Siente seguridad. But what you need is more vocabulary. Right? Mm -hmm. Lo que necesitamos mm -hmm. es más vocabulario. So, we are going to start working on you acquiring vocabulary. Necesito trabajar con la adquisición de vocabulario. Now, tell me, what type of literature do you like reading? ¿Qué tipo de literatura le gusta leer? Realmente no, no leo mucho. Y leo lo que está relacionado a mi trabajo, casi que no me da tiempo para leer otras cosas. Ok. ¿Cuál es su área de trabajo específica? Eh, servicios de asistencia. Estoy leyendo, por ejemplo, ahorita estoy leyendo sobre temas de calidad porque la empresa está certificada. Entonces ya se va a renovar una norma. Y, y estoy leyendo algo de eso porque me toca cambiar estructura, me toca cambiar 
indicadores, me toca poner factores de riesgo, porque la, la norma que se va a adquirir, que es la 17000, eh, es la que está por la seguridad de la información, entonces hay que hacer toda una estructura desde FRAS donde, donde uno coloque riesgos también y por posibles riesgos en, en el proceso y que pueda colocar de una vez cómo puede emitir. Entonces en eso se ahorita y generalmente voy leyendo en mis ratitos libres lo que está relacionado. Antes leí o estuve viendo cómo eran los procedimientos legales en el extranjero, por ejemplo, porque yo no soy abogado, pero me toca ser responsable del área legal también. Y entonces me toca conocer un poco de acá y conocer... Y entonces eso es lo que voy leyendo generalmente. Yeah, Muy so, poco tiempo me... Cosa. Yeah, I understand. So you can, I mean, you have to read about the different areas so you can understand when you are talking to the experts para poder entender cuando uh -huh. los expertos realmente le, le informan o le comentan o en meetings, en reuniones. Yes, I understand your area exactly. Entiendo su, su, su situación. Uh -huh. Okay, now, we have two options. Tenemos dos opciones. One of them is we can focus on the vocabulary related to your specific area. Podemos enfocarnos en vocabulario relacionado con su área específica. The only problem I uh -huh. see is this. El único detalle que yo veo es este. Eh, uh -huh. Your everyday English. El inglés de uso diario. Everyday situation. Uh -huh. I mean, if we focus too much on the, on, the, on the specific area of development, si nos enfocamos directamente en, en el área específica de, de nuestro desarrollo, power activities, de nuestras actividades, the problem is that we live aside the, the everyday speaking English, el inglés del uso diario el, con el que nos comunicamos. Con sí, no, me, yo prefiero que sea como más generalizado porque de todas formas en la empresa nadie más habla inglés, bueno, una compañera que está por ahí, pero no es porque lo necesitemos así, ni con mi jefe, ni con, ni con los clientes. Entonces, quizás me interesa más como una conversación o que o practicar en, en temas generales, porque eso sí lo puedo hacer en cualquier momento. Ok. Pero algo técnico no me acuerdo yo sola, solo yo me voy a entender. Ok, no. And I was asking you, and I was asking you about that, about that, the type of reading you do. He preguntado sobre el tipo de lecturas que hace. Uh -huh. To see about uh, what could I send you, para ver qué le puedo enviar. Something that doesn't bore you. Algo que no le aburra. Por eso le pregunto nuevamente. Recomiéndame algo usted que lee tanto de todo. But that's the, yeah, but that's me. I mean, I, I can read whatever. Pero eso soy yo. I mean, en una ocasión me leí un libro de mercadeo solo por kicks. Solo porque me gustó. I mean, I, yeah, I read everything. But what about you? What areas do you like? ¿Qué áreas le gustan? ¿Qué le interesa? I mean, ¿qué libros leía antes cuando sí tuvo tiempo? Uy, obras. Obras leía de, del colegio, leía este, como de esta, no sé cómo, cómo decirle, pero por ejemplo, hay unas obras que, que a uno le dejan como una enseñanza, pero es más como en el tema cristiano porque leía por ejemplo un libro de que se llama la changa que, que es de una historia de un, un muchacho que era pandillero leía bodas de sangre el yugo de los infieles cosas esos libros me gustaban okay. <risa> eso es oh. lo que yo leía cuando no tenía que leer cosas de estudio cosas de lo que sea okay. básicamente es lo que yeah. me That gives me some partners so I can. Historias reales, digamos, basadas en, en, en casos o vida de gente real. Eso es, lo que me, eso es lo que me llama la atención, hasta para ver en televisión. Okay, but in English, those type of books, usually they use a very uh, complex English. Vamos a comenzar entonces con algo más básico para llegar a eso, porque en inglés, normalmente el tipo de literatura que usted me, me está mencionando son inglés más rebuscado. 
I mean, no, pero puede ser algo que me sirva para el trabajo. Es que eso es lo que a mí no me aburre. Lo demás es como porque lo tengo que saber, digamos, por el trabajo, como le digo, que le doy de normas, que le doy de ley, que le doy de... Pero eso es como, como, como para trabajar, pero para distraerme, ocupar cosas de, de historias reales. Pero pues, cualquier cosa, usted mándeme lo que... Okay. Porque ahorita okay. mi tarea es aprender in, inglés, entender más inglés. Ok, ok, ok. We will start with the fairy tales. Vamos a comenzar con cuentos de hadas. <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, the, the Grimm's Brothers books, los libros de los hermanos Grimm, so they use a very nice English. Utilizan un inglés muy interesante. Uh, ok, but this way I can check out some information, I take notes of this, tomo nota de esto, and I will see what I can send you so you can practice. Y veremos que le enviamos para que practique. Okay? And I will start sí. sending you short, short scripts, eh, lecturas cortas, so you can, you can Uy, practicing. le se le entrecortó. Perdón, le, no lo entendí porque se le entrecortó. I will start sending you short scripts, so you can practice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Estaré enviando este escritos cortos para que practique. And, uh -huh. and I will wait for your comments. Y voy a esperar por sus comentarios. If you like them or if you not. If they were boring or too confusing. And I will also explain the, 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 the process. Hold on just a second. Permítame solo un segundo. Bien. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry to, uh, that I made you stay so late. Perdón que la retuve tanto. Ah, no, si es por es por mí, o sea, es bien para mí, ¿no? Yo le agradezco porque la verdad es que parece mentira, pero es súper básico lo que yo sé. Yo, de verdad que el, el inglés no fue tan interesante para mí eh, en el tiempo que estudié. En now is a need. Y ahora es una necesidad. Sí, y realmente, sí, para serles sincera, ni siquiera me recuerdo de lo que vi en, en, en mi primaria. Además, oh, que... well, but... But you have a good, you work very well. You've been working pretty well in the classes. Tienes estado trabajando muy bien en las clases. Sí, pero aunque no creen, ni siquiera me recuerdo, ¿verdad? De lo que me tuvieron que enseñar en el colegio porque realmente tuve una, una eh, eh, educación primaria bastante básica en una escuela. Entonces, no, no, no sé. Y, y aparte que no fue como le digo de mi interés, realmente ni siquiera lo recuerdo. Ni siquiera recuerdo un montón de cosas que creería oh. yo que a esta altura son básicas. Pero Don't, tú worry. Que Don't worry, me neither. No se preocupe. I, I flunk English in high school. Yo reprobé inglés en bachillerato. No sé ni me acuerdo. De verdad, le prometo. Y yo hablo con mis hijos porque yo lo veo a ellos que como que más o menos. Yo no, no me acuerdo si siquiera vi eso que, que están viendo ellos. Pero puede ser que. Eh, most, ha sido por lo que le digo. Que no, most probably, fue... most probably you didn't. Muy probablemente no lo hizo. Eh, sí. la, las metodologías que se utilizaban antes, algunas de ellas ya están desfasadas. Sí, pues. Yeah, no, no, that's a fact. Es un hecho. Ah, bueno. A nosotros, a nosotros, uh, let me see. I'm sorry for the question. Perdón por la pregunta. You are like 38, 39. Usted anda por los 38, 39, right? Yo, yeah. 40. 40, ok. We are almost of an age. Casi tenemos la misma edad. Eh, nos enseñaron con una metodología llamada Grammar Translation Method. Okay. Eh, and that doesn't work no more. Y eso ya no se utiliza más. Nos ponían ah. a traducir mucho. Ajá. Ok, sí. that, that doesn't work. Eso ya no, se, ya no se estila. No for learning how to speak. Sí, así veo a estos niños. But don't worry, we're going to help you. Vamos a ayudar. Ok, no Ay, gracias. No problem, no problem. Have a good night, Sonia. Thank you very much. Okay. See you tomorrow. Be ready with your presentation. Está lista con su presentación. Ya la tengo armada, pero le quería meter más cosas. No sé si quiere que se le envíe así. Le quería como, como no, practicar. No. If, you want, if you want, you can send it to me tomorrow afternoon. Si gusta, mañana por la tarde. I can check it out. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Have a good night. Take bueno, care. Bye. Gracias.